Hello people, in this video we want to look at this uh, topic arthro desis. What is arthro? Something to do with the joints, right? And desis they are seeming uh, to uh, call it as fusion. So fusion of joint is arthro desis. So let us say this um, is a joint, right? That joint was kind of mobile before. They are putting glue here and they are fixing it. So it will not be mobile anymore. So this is arthro desis, okay? So why will you do arthro desis? Interesting, right? Why would an in orthopedics you have a? Uh, it's all about mobility, fixing, so that people can use the joint and all that, right? Fix. Uh, but then here there is something which is arthrodesis, which is kind of a um, last resort they want to do. They want to fuse it so that um, whatever possible, at least that much they can use. They've tried everything, nothing works. Now finally they are just fixing the joint so that you can use it the way it is with limited mobility. So now here there's a joint space you can see here, right? Um, look at the joint space here. This is the joint space, right? So now what they have done, they have fused it. See, intra-articular, this is called as intra-articular. Then this is extra-articular. Okay, and here they have shown combined, both intra-articular and extra-articular. So this is, these are the types of arthrodesis. So what is arthrodesis? Can you say now? Arthrodesis is a fusion of joint. It is adopted when joint is not only deformed, but its articulating surfaces are damaged beyond repair. So this is this is beyond repair. When it is beyond repair only the joint, then only they are talking about fusion of joint, that is arthrodesis. What are we looking at people? Arthrodesis. Okay. So when do you do this? You do it when It is suitable for joints where there is loss of motion and it does not produce much functional disability. Like wrist and all, it's okay to join it, they are saying. Arthrodesis for wrist and all won't cause that much problem, they are saying. But they would have tried everything else, okay. Obviously, we need to move our wrist and all. But in um, other situations like hip and knee, Joint replacement is better. Arthrodesis is not good for hip and knee. Imagine how, how will you squat, right? You can't even squat if you can't even sit down if you if they uh, do arthrodesis of hip and knee. However, in worst situation of this uh, hip and knee, there also they will do arthrodesis. Worst situation, they'll try everything and finally nothing works. Then only they will do for that. Okay. And they have written here whenever there is joint infection. Like especially they are saying some uh, infection, myelitis, tuberculosis. In those conditions and if there is a paralyzed limb, anyways the nerve itself is damaged, right? So that guy anyways cannot use the muscles, the limb to lift and all that. So when in that condition also they can do arthrodesis. When the limb itself is paralyzed, when there is infection of the joint, beyond repair, then they are thinking about arthrodesis. Look at this guys, um, this is how they have uh, fused the knee. They have put something in the inside looks like, right, and some screws. So basically you can see that they have fused the joint, arthrodesis of knee, okay. So how do you do this? So you can perform by crushing the articular surface against each other and thus uh, you will bring the opposite bones into union. So the bones are coming into contact. How? By you are crushing the articular surfaces against each other. So what you are doing, you are opening up the joint, you are removing its cartilage and immobilizing it in functional position. The raw bones, the raw bone ends unite resulting fusion. So the, they are crushing the articular surfaces, they are removing the cartilage. So basically, that cartilage which was there to cause the movement, friction, uh, what do you call that, shock absorption, etc., all that gone. So, only the raw end of the bones unite, okay. So, that is how they are doing uh, arthrodesis. They are looking at the procedure. Now, this is an operative procedure, that is, it is surgical. Either you open it up and do or you can do arthroscopy, that is, like using camera and a thin uh, endoscope, you can go inside and do it with a small stab, you wound, that becomes an arthroscopy. Okay, so they are saying, how do you achieve this? The fusion is achieved between the bones, okay, between the bones the fusion happens, right, and you will remove any motion of the joint, so basically you will not be able to move the joint, you would have, they would put it in a functional position, which means it's not all functional, but main function, like you want to stand, like that they will give, okay, so a proper functional position of it will be maintained, okay. So fusing a joint has disadvantages like we told you hip, knee and all. If you do, what will happen? You can't squat, you can't sit, right? Then 
This operation becomes necessary when the advantages of limiting the joint are more than the disadvantages of keeping a joint. Sorry, advantages of eliminating a eliminating a joint is more than the disadvantages of keeping it. Like it is totally infected or uh, what did they say? One more thing they said here on before. They told one word. Paralyzed limb, yeah. If the limb itself is paralyzed, then you can as well do an arthrodesis. See, we'll just look at this table which we missed. Look at this table. They're saying whenever a joint is deformed, you take the X-ray, you check whether there is any uh, no bony changes, then good. But if there is bone changes there, and if the joint space is okay, okay, do something. But if the joint is also damaged, bone changes are present, joint is also damaged, then you couldn't do any arthroplasty. Just do an arthrodesis. The final option, okay. So example is a stiff, painful ankle may be more disabling than a arthrodesed ankle. So if you have a painful ankle, imagine living with pain. You as well you will say, please arthrodesis it, fix it. Enough of this pain, okay? So stiff. What is this? So this arthrodesis will be stiff, but it will be painless. Earlier it was stiff and painful ankle. Now it will become stiff and painless, okay? Stiff, but painless. Earlier it was stiff and painful and now it will become stiff but painless. So like we showed you the flow chart, this is the last thing that we will do. Okay. Arthrodesis is used most often for painful stiff joints. So if there is a painful stiff joint, they will do it when they are not able to do anything else. Okay. Also whenever there is polio, unstable joint is there, grossly unstable joint, then only they are trying to do this arthrodesis. Okay. So this is just another image just to show arthrodesis. They are bringing the surfaces together, the bone edges, bone, bones forming the joint. Okay. So bone graft can be used. So they can use a bone graft in the middle. They can put this bone graft, is it? To achieve fusion between the joint surfaces, they can use a bone graft also. Now what are the types of arthro? This is, we have uh, looked at the procedure, when will they do this, what is the procedure, all that we have looked at. Now look, look at the types. So we told you intra-articular is there, extra-articular is there and combine this there. Okay, let's read this. In intra-articular, the articular surfaces, articulating surfaces are ma made raw and the joint immobilized in the position with optimum function until there is a bony union between the bones. Okay, so... What is extra articular? An extra capsular bridge of bone is created. This acts as to block the movement. So this is extra articular as you can see here. So extra capsular bridge of bone is created between the articula articulating bones, between the bones. Extra capsular bridge of bone is there. This is extra articular. Okay. Now look, now look at this. Here you can see that they have done triple arthrodesis where you can see there is talocalcaneal, calcanocuboid and talonavicular arthrodesis. Okay, triple arthrodesis they have done. <coughs> talocalcaneal, calcanocuboid and talonavicular. Okay, talonavicular, calcanocuboid and talocalcaneal. Okay, let me write this again. <coughs> So see this, in this exam if you draw this it will be really good. See, talocalcaneal, calcanocuboid and talonavicular. Triple arthrodesis, okay. <coughs> this sounds like it is extra articular, what do you see? In what position will you do arthrodesis, okay. So which conforms to the requirement of the patient's work. So this is the position that in most of which it is done, okay, let us see. Most of it says flex, flex, flex. See, shoulder flex, elbow flex, hip flex, knee flex. Okay. Wrist, they are saying dorsiflexion. Males, uh, ankle is neutral flex. Females, they want to give like high heels. See, plantar flex. Like high heels. Strange. Okay. Now, look at this. Um, arthrodesis. When will you do? Like we told you, when you have tried everything else and it's not working, then only you are doing arthrodesis. Right. So, let's look at the things. Main thing you will write is osteoarthritis. Okay. Ankle osteoarthritis, wrist osteoarthritis, then congenital dislocation of hip. Okay. Congenital dislocation of hip and that too if nothing works then. Hip, TB hip. 
okay tb hip then congenital dislocation of hip we didn't highlight then tb hip okay but if you do hip what will happen they can't squat okay then tuberculosis of knee after trying everything nothing works in especially if the advanced stage of disease then they are trying to do arthrodesis okay then they are using some charn charnley's compression arthrodesis if you want to remember the name charn chan lace compression arthrodesis for tuberculosis of knee okay and they are telling you how it will be in functional position you will obviously always you will arthrodesis it in fun functional position okay and neutral rotation charnies compression they will arthrodesis in this tuberculosis of knee right you will see triple deformity so there will be subluxation of the knee external and lateral rotation of the tibia and flexion of knee anyways this is not same as what you saw that was triple arthrodesis okay that is different now in polio also you can do arthrodesis because there is lot of unstable joint stabilization you need right because there is lot of unstable joint okay so the triple arthrodesis is coming in polio is it oh triple arthrodesis is coming in polio okay coming in polio triple deformity is in tuberculosis of knee triple arthrodesis is coming in polio then osteoclastoma that is giant cell tumor everything else if it fails finally you are thinking about arthrodesis by ternoplasty procedure okay the length of the tibia is split into two halves one half is turned upside down and fixed with the stump okay we have seen this let me show you the image look at this image here for treating giant cell tumor they are taking a part of the tibia and turning it upside down and then they are fixing the joint because wherever the tumor was there that they have removed and that place they have put the half part of tibia upside down okay so this is the ternoplasty for giant cell tumor arthrodesis by ternoplasty okay arthrodesis by bridging the gap by double fibulae let's see this one is this one itself this one fibular grafting again they have fixed the joint okay finally they are talking about replacement replacement is where you can use the joint and it will move but the first two what they are telling is arthrodesis okay for giant cell tumor basically they are using two fibula one from the same leg and one from other leg it seems why even disturb the other leg which is totally fine okay this is arthrodesis basically they are fixing the joint that's all we want right to understand then moving on rheumatoid arthritis also they are doing arthrodesis okay then avascular necrosis of bone finally if it is leading to osteoarthritis then you can treat it with arthrodesis like we told you everything this and all is last option arthrodesis for subtalar arthrodesis there is one operation called as grice green operation it seems for subtalar this is a grice green operation they are saying and then implants that are used they are they are using some cobra plate for hip arthrodesis so if you want to do hip arthrodesis you can use cobra plate okay so let's take a recap whatever we saw in this video we want, we looked at this terminology arthrodesis means fusion of joint arthro is joint so basically whenever the joint is beyond repair you tried everything etc then you can fuse a joint arthrodesis in some functional position you can uh, fix it these people will not have joint mobility you should understand that you just fix the joint especially when the joint is infected paralyzed limb is there so limb itself is paralyzed anyway the limb is not moving in those conditions if there is infection or if there is some osteomyelitis or avascular necrosis which is untreatable gone beyond all those treatment etc then you can do arthrodesis okay so basically here they have said when there is a joint you will try so many things finally it is arthrodesis which we have marked in red okay when the bone changes are present when the joint is damaged deformed you can't do anything else then okay here they have shown the arthrodesis of the knee joint so basically how is the procedure you will bring the bones opposite bones to union okay so you will crush the articular surface against each other you will bring the bones opposite bones to touch each other so you will remove the cartilage and the raw bone ends unite 
So basically this is an operative procedure you can open up and do or you can use an endoscope that is an arthroscopy you can do. Uh, so um, so what is your intention is how much ever uh, possible you will just make your life better. Okay, so if there was a stiff and painful ankle you can make a stiff but painless ankle. Okay, like if there is polio and there was some unstable joint you can make it stable that's it. So this is last option like we are telling you. Then uh, for this uh, purpose, you can also use bone graft. For arthrodesis, you can use bone graft. Okay. So in the types of arthrodesis, you have seen that. In the types of arthrodesis, you have seen there is intra-articular uh, arthrodesis that is uh, within the joint and extra-articular means outside the joint capsule, you have some bone bridge. Okay. Then um, uh, what else? <coughs> How will be the position of the limb or the joint in after arthrodesis? Basically, functional position. However, the patient is comfortable. Mostly, it will be a flexed position, right? Uh, for uh, plantar flexion for ankle, they will make it like uh, plantar flexion, like heels, it seems. But I'm thinking if they make one leg like that, they'll have to make the other leg also like that. So, when will you use arthrodesis? We told you osteoarthritis. Um, uh, of the ankle, of the wrist, congenital history, dislocation of hip. If nothing else is working, TB hip. But they can't squat, squat if it is hip. Remember, wrist and all, they can still, you can hand and all, you can, if it's fixed, you can still do something in life. But hip and knee and all, how will you sit, stand, etc. are very difficult. Knee also, TB knee also, they are talking. Uh, here they have some compression uh, arthrodesis, that is charn lace uh, compression arthrodesis. Right, and uh, what else? Uh, in polio, like we told you, to stabilize. Then uh, osteoclastoma, giant cell tumor, you have the arthrodesis, thermoplasty and fibula, double fibula arthrodesis also is there. And then in uh, rheumatoid arthritis also they are talking about arthrodesis. Avascular necrosis of bone if this leading to osteomyelitis. If you can't do anything else then do arthrodesis. Then uh, for subtalar uh, arthrodesis there is some grey green operation. And uh, what is this? Uh, for hip arthrodesis you have some plate that comes. That's the uh, implant they are saying. It is cobra plate. Okay. So did we miss something? Yes, we missed this one. Wait. This triple arthrodesis comes in uh, polio. Okay, so uh, in polio, uh, what they are doing to make the make it stable, they are having a talocalcaneal, calcanocuboid, and talonavicular uh, uh, arthrodesis. This is triple arthrodesis. Okay, so talocalcaneal, calcanocuboid, and talonavicular. Okay, so this is arthrodesis. Hope you have understood uh, arthrodesis. Bye bye.